So as we do understand that uh, in each and every term that we are, we are going to consider the topics that we are going to work with. Uh, so in this term, which is our term three, we must consider uh, working with the trigonometry, which is a continuation from what we had from our term two. This time you are working with the 2D uh, trigonometry. You are supposed to know how to solve two-dimensional problems involving right angle to triangle. Work with the problems in two-dimensional. So you're going to see that uh, actually we have been working with those uh, typical questions if you've been watching our classes. So make sure that you go through that. And uh, from the third week up to the fifth week, you must be considering working with the statistics, uh, measures of central tendency. Make sure you work with that uh, from the range as measure of dispersion, uh, dispersion uh, the five number summary, the use of uh, statistical summaries, the histogram, all that. You must be able to apply everything here uh, so that you'll be able to answer your exams or your tests, which are ahead of time. Then also go through your probability. Uh, that is, again, very, very important for you to go through uh, from your week six to eight. That is the use of the probability models to compare the relative frequency of events with the, the theoretical probability, the use of the Venn diagrams to solve probability problems, deriving and applying the following for any two events in a sample space S. So we are going to apply uh, this sum, uh, the mutual exclusive, mutual exclusive A and B uh, are complementary. Uh, the conditions that you are going to apply on the complementary state that is the part of probability only this part that you need and to use your question papers in the revision then the last part is on the finance and growth that is the last part that you must consider the use of the simple and the compound growth formulas you must use that to solve problems including interest higher purchase inflation population growth and other real life problems, understand the implication of fluctuating uh, foreign exchange rates, e.g. on the petrol prices, imports, exports, uh, overseas travels. So that is the major part that you're going to have as the last topic, which is finance and growth. And do not forget, you are going to be tested at the end of all this part that you have been doing. You are going to have your test, which is part of your SBA. So make sure that you do work with all these in the preparations for the test that you're going to have. Uh, you must be able or you must have covered all these topics before the test or before the exam that you are going to have uh, at the final. So these are the topics that you're going to have or that you're going to work with. Let us revise as much as we can uh, preparing ourselves for the exams which are ahead of time.